Good afternoon, Masaela Khiri. Welcome along to this webinar. It's me, Lorraine, and today we're going to have lots of fun learning all about how to wash our hands. Axilendeka. We are going to be singing some songs together. We're going to be watching videos and also doing some fun activities together as well. Before I start, I'd just like to say a big thank you to the Abu Dhabi Early Childhood Authority for making this Parenting in a Pandemic and Beyond initiative a reality. So a big thanks to them for making this happen. I also just want to say, if you're new to these webinars and, and new to the way I run webinars as well, um, you're very welcome to post questions up as we go along using the chat facility at the side of your screen. Um, and I will do my best to answer all the questions that come up uh, by the end of the session. But don't worry, if I don't get a chance to answer all of them, I will stay on for as long as needs be to um, help you out and answer any questions. Um, so first of all, I'd like to say thank you very much to all of you who were able to um, answer the question before the webinar started. Um, and the question that we were asking was, how well do you think your child understands the need for you for them to be able to wash their hands? So um, we had quite a, a mixed response and that's great. Um, probably I would say about half of you feel that um, they understand Stand sort of fairly well or, or very well and then the other half are really sort of not that well and in some cases not not at all so some of you are obviously struggling and some of you are perhaps a little bit further down the line so I hope that wherever you are on that scale um, there's going to be something here for all of you uh, to be able to take away to help hand washing particularly with young children uh, just something that becomes a little bit easier for you particularly obviously given how important hand washing is anyway um, during these current time so um what i'm going to do is i'm just going to share my screen with you and we will bring up the first uh there we go in the current slide so um in terms of the aims of this session there's really two core aims from today um the first was i hope that you will feel better equipped to be able to um, help your child for those of you who, who need to do this to really help explain and understand why hand washing is so important for them not just during these current times but but any time anyway. Um, and also you'll be picking up some top ideas to be able to put into practice straight away from this session. So those really are the, the two main aims from today's session. Now, um, for our children to uh, be able to wash their hands effectively, they need to understand three things. And here they are. They need to un and really know and understand when to wash their hands, why, to wash their hands and also of course how to wash their hands. Now this might seem a bit obvious to us as adults but we as adults of course know exactly when we should wash our hands. It makes sense to us to wash our hands before we eat, after using the bathroom or when we've come inside from being outside. But we can't assume for our young children that they know all this. It absolutely is something that needs to be taught. And one of the things I've put together for you, which is a, a sort of takeaway from today as part of the overall handout that you'll have at the end of this session, is a little poster here, um, which can be printed off and really put wherever you like in the house, which will help remind your child, don't forget to wash your hands at these three key points before you eat, after using the toilet, and after play. Um, these visual prompts are really helpful for, for young children in particular, just to help reminding them of that, you know, they do need to wash their hands at these key points. So, I mean, children are far more likely to um, want to uh, be able to wash their hands and, and wash their hands importantly if they know why it is so important to wash their hands. And there's a bit of a difficulty for them here, if you think about it, if you put yourself back to when you were a child, um, we can't see 
or hear and more often than not smell germs, they are often invisible. So it can be difficult to understand why our hands are dirty if they look clean. Now I'm hoping we've also got lots of children with us today. So we're gonna do some activities and I'd like you all to look really carefully. I'm gonna hold my hands up now. Look at my hands. Now, what do you think? What do you think? Do you think they look clean? Or do you think they look dirty? What do you think? They look pretty clean, don't they? Yeah, I think so too. So, but the thing is, that's the trouble with germs. We can't actually see them. Um, if I didn't wash my hands, then the trouble with that is I could end up getting things like a tummy ache, I might get a cold, or I might feel a little bit unwell just because I haven't actually washed my hands. Um, so what I'd like to do is to do an activity together. Now, if you're able to do this alongside with me, this is what you're going to need. So you're going to need a paper plate. So here's a paper plate here. You're going to need some glitter. Now, just a word of warning about glitter. You only need a tiny little bit of glitter. So a, a little bit goes a very, very long way. Um, and then in due course, you're going to need some soap. And also, as I've got here, a little bowl of warm water. But even if you can just do this little bit and get a paper plate and a little bit of glitter, that would be fantastic. So this activity we're going to do together is called Glitter Germs. Now, can you guess what we've got to do first of all? So let's take our plate. Now, here we are. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour some glitter over here okay so here we go oh my goodness that's quite a lot come out already and just to um add a little bit of color i've got a little bit of blue as well so it's kind of turquoisey blue color and then i'm going to put a little bit of pink in there as well so there we go so that's quite a good plate of glitter there isn't it okay now then with this activity what we're going to do is we are going to pretend that what you can see on here our germs, so all our germs that we can't normally see are now suddenly covered in glitter. Oh my goodness. But what that means is we can then start to see what happens with germs in terms of how they, they spread as well. So that's what we're going to be doing today. That's why it's called glitter germs. So what I'm gonna do, and if you can do it with me, if you've got your plate ready, I am gonna put my, what looks like a nice clean hand there, doesn't it? I'm gonna put it, oh, here we go, oh, all on here. So let's see how much glitter, let's see how many germs I can get on my hand. Oh my goodness. Right, can you see this? <gasps> Look at that. Look at all that glitter. Unfortunately, that means that I now have lots and lots and lots of germs on my hands because they're covered in glitter. So we can see the germs now in a way that we couldn't see them before. Look at that. Oh my goodness me. So I'm gonna pop that down there. So I wonder how much glitter have you got on your hands? Have you got as much? I've got a bitch on my nose there. Oh, oh no, I think I've just got some, oh, I've got some glitter on my nose as well. And if you do this and touch your shirt, it means I'm also, oh, hang on a minute. Oh, no, I've touched my other hand, look. Oh dear, oh dear, it's starting to spread. Can you see, can you see if I do that? Oh, look at this, I've now got glitter on that hand as well, which means I've got germs on there as well. And that's the problem with germs because we can't normally see them. We don't normally see how they spread, but now we've got glitter germs on our hands. We can see just how easy it is to spread. And what if I were to do this? Oh, that means I'm gonna, uh oh, now I'm gonna have, glitter germs on my hair as well. Oh dear. I think before I start getting completely covered in these germs, I think we probably need to think about washing them off. I wonder where you've managed to get glitter germs over. Have you managed to get glitter germs over your face or over your top and over your other hand, just like I have, look at that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a go at washing some of this off now. Okay, so let's have a look. So this is where we need our bowl of warm water. Can you see this? There we go. So what I'm gonna, I'm not gonna use anything else. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and get these glitter germs off of my hands just by using water. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna dip in and off we go. 
goodness me. Oh, it's quite a bit coming off there. That's good. Let's have a look. There we are. Right, let's have a look. Should we have a look and see how much I've managed to get off? Oh, well, that hasn't done very well, has it? So water on its own. Hmm. I've still got a lot of germs on my hands, haven't I? Can you see that? So what am I going to have to use to get all these glitter germs off? Do you know? What do you think? What do we need as well as water to wash our hands? Did you say soap? Well done. That's right. We need soap. Now, the good news is I've got some soap here. Here we go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop some soap on my hands and then I'm going to hope hope that I can get all these glitter germs off. So here we go. So we'll get some nice bit of liquid soap there. I'm going to rub it in, rub all the soap in. There we go. Look at this. Goodness me. And let's see. Oh, right. Here we go. Let's pop it in some water. And let's see how we can get this off. Hope we can. Hope it all comes off. <laughs> sure it will. Aha. Right. There we go. Let's have a look. So I'm just have a little wipe of my towel. So if you're doing this along at home, you make sure you have a little towel, wipe it off. Should we have a look now and see? Let's have a look. And I have done this quite quickly. Oh, well, look at that. I think there are a few, aren't there? Can you see? Uh, where are we there? Can you still see? There's still a few little germs there as well, aren't there? But I think that soap along with the water was the magic ingredient wasn't it to get all that all those glitter germs off now i've got a lovely song for us to sing together which i think is going to help us all learn how to wash our hands well so if i bring my screen up again here we go <clears throat> just uh, bear with me just one moment uh there we go Okay. Right, so here we go. Now, this song is a song which you may not be familiar with the words, but I'm sure you will know the tune, which is a tune to row, row, row your boat. And what we're going to do is I'm going to have another go at seeing if I can get a little bit more of these glitter germs off. And while we're doing that, we're going to sing this song. So we better have a little practice first. So are you ready? And if I sing it through first, and then you can sing along with me. If you know the tune to Row, Row, Row Your Boat, then we're, we're good to go. So here we go. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash them nice and clean. Scrub them here and scrub them there and scrub them in between. Don't forget to do the actions. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Play our handy game. Rub and scrub and scrub and rub. Germs go down the drain. So that's a really good little song. And it lasts about 20 seconds, which is exactly how long we need to be washing our hands for. So if you're ready, I'm going to have another go at washing my hands and I'm going to put a little bit of soap on and we're going to sing the song together again. So here we go. A little bit more soap. Here we go. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash them nice and clean. Scrub them here and scrub them there and scrub them in between. Wash, wash, wash your hands, play our handy game. Rub and scrub and scrub and rub, germs go down the drain. Well done, everyone. I hope you managed to, even if you weren't actually washing your hands for real, I hope you were able to practice as if you were washing your hands and practicing that song, because we're going to come back to that one a little bit later on. Now then, shall we have another look and see how my hands are doing? Let's have a look. What do you think? Oh, we're still a tiny little bit there, but how clean are those now? Look at that. Fantastic. Aren't they lovely and clean? So soap really is our super magical thing to be using, isn't it? When we wash our hands. So mums and dads, if you're watching this, young children are going to find it helpful to have visual prompts to remind them the order in which to wash their hands. So let's have a look at this little poster that I have put together. Here we go. <clears throat> Now then, 
there we go. So if you have a little look at this, this is a little poster of seven steps of remembering how to wash our hands. So it covers everything from turning the water on and wetting our hands, putting the soap on just as I've done today, through to obviously rubbing our hands, rinsing it off, turning off the water, and then of course, drying our hands afterwards. So this is a really handy little prompt as well, perhaps to put above where the sink is, um, just to help your child when they're learning to wash their hands, what those steps are. So um, the other thing to mention as well is some children might need some physical help when they're first learning to wash their hands. So it could be that you need to stand behind them and perhaps guide them and guide their hands. And as you're doing it, you say, right, now it's time for the soap and just guide their arms, guide their hands to where the soap is. And same with things like rinsing under the, the water and turning the tap off, little things like that. So don't be afraid to, you know, help them initially uh, when they're first learning how to wash their hands. Now, I have a son, Ibn, and he's called Dylan. And every time he went to wash his hands, he would get a sticker and he would put that sticker on something called a reward chart. Now, you can see I've just brought one up here on my screen. And this is a washing hands reward chart and reward charts are really popular with young children and you know if you have siblings you can make it a bit competitive as well to see how many children get their stars and fill up their reward chart first but it's really up to you how you want to reward it could be something as simple as cooking them a favourite meal or it could be through to something bigger like you know a day out or something like that it's really up to you now this chart I've put together here um, I wonder how many of you can spot what the pictures are do you recognise some of those pictures from Baby Shark yeah I've got a little treat from Baby Shark coming up with you for you in, in a little while so um, I know Baby Shark's very popular over in Abu Dhabi so this is a very special Baby Shark washing hands reward chart um, so basically let me just stop that there so you can see what I'm doing so um, we've looked at when to wash our hands you know with the visual prompts and we've talked about why to wash our hands as well we've talked about that in the context of things like germs and all the glitter germs all the germs and things that we can't see but I think we should go back and have another little look at how to wash our hands again and this time I'm going to show you two videos. Now the first one has young children who are washing their hands and they're singing a song called Top and Bottom. So it's a very short video but they are young children and I think they do a super super job of washing their hands singing a little song called Top and Bottom. So we're going to play uh, video number one for you. Now, wasn't that fantastic? And it's just a simple little song and all the children were there washing their hands, singing along to that song, which was great. And it's a very simple song uh, to sing along to. Now, that was a lot of fun. Now, who there, who likes Baby Shark? Yes, do you like Baby Shark? I love Baby Shark too. Now, in the next video, Baby Shark is going to come along to help us learn all about how to wash our hands. Now, this is a very quick video, so just to warn you. So in the top, you'll see a little countdown timer, so you can count along, a little bit of maths in there for you to count down at 20 seconds. And there's little pictures to show you what you should be doing next in terms of washing your hands. And of course, we've got the baby shark song um, as well. So what we're gonna do is gonna have a little look at video number two, all about baby shark and hand washing. Baby Shark Brooklyn! Baby Shark, do 
super quick wasn't it um but did you see the countdown timer at the top and that was 20 seconds which is exactly how long we need to wash our hands for and then all the pictures showing us how to wash our hands as well so well done baby shark and well done all of you if you were singing along and practicing how to clean your hands as well so that's fantastic so i've got a few top tips that i just want to share with you right now uh, let's have a look. Here we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. So I've got some top tips for you in terms of hand washing. And the first one is just to be patient. It will take your child a little bit of time to learn, particularly why they need to wash their hands. You know, we have to remember you can't see or hear germs and, you know, often you can't smell them either and their hands particularly look clean. And they'll say, why, why? Um, so it takes a little bit of time for them to learn that. And of course, how to wash their hands as well. But if you give them lots of encouragement and use things like the visual prompts that will be available for you to download afterwards this session, um, and also things like the reward chart, that's really good. But do, do be patient. Um, use those reminders and prompts. And you know, one of the best things you can do, of course, is to role model. So basically be a good role model yourself and actually speak out loud when you're going to wash your hands. So you might say, oh, now it's time for tea. I need to wash my hands. So you're just reminding your child in a different way again um, that they need to wash their hands. And of course, if your younger child, if they have older siblings as well, they can do the same. They can say, come on, come on, time to wash our hands. It's time for tea. So you're just reinforcing that message about when you need to wash hands. So you may, as I said, need to use some physical prompts. So things like guiding your child's hands to help them as first as well. And finally, the third point is make it lots of fun. Play games or sing songs to help your child understand how they should wash their hands and importantly for how long as well we know it's around about sort of 20 seconds but you know there's some great songs as you've already seen um, which will help you uh, remember how long you need to wash your hands for so those are my top tips be patient use lots of reminders and prompts don't forget to role model that yourself as well and of course make it fun so play games or sing songs as well just as we've done here today so i want to ask you a question now because um, I've got a really special activity for us to do and I'm just going to move some of these bits around in a minute and if you want to do it along with me you've probably got just enough time while I'm setting this up you're going to need a few bits and bobs so you're going to need some milk um, a little bit of food colouring if you've got it and a q-tip or sometimes they can be called cotton buds one of these little q-tip and a little bit of liquid soap now don't worry if you haven't got this but this is a great activity to do and the handout will explain to you how to do it and this activity that we're going to do is called magic milk so we are going to make the milk do some very very magical things now the first thing to say is do you remember when we washed our glittery hands or certainly when i washed mine and i used just water that i had lots of germs left on my hands didn't i lots of glitter germs left on my hands so i had to use soap to wash my hands as much as possible to get all the germs off now it's the same thing here so what we're going to do is we're going to use liquid soap now 
the best way of explaining it, you know, when you're washing up, you get pots and pans and greasy pots and pans from washing up. And we have to use washing up liquid or a soap to actually clean all the grease off. Well, what happens is this is exactly what, what happens with the um, <clears throat> with the, the dirt and the germs on your hands and the soap and the soap rushes around trying to grab all the grease and the grime off the pans so it can rinse it down the sink in exactly the same way that the soap is trying to rush around and get all the germs and let them rinse away down the drain. So what we're going to need, let me just move a few little bits around here and I will show you what we need. So I'm just going to move my bowl of dirty water now so that's going to go down the drain a little bit later on. There we go. <clears throat> and the same with the glitter as well, because uh, glitter gets everywhere, which is the same with germs, isn't it? Germs get everywhere. So here we go. This is what we need. So I have some milk. You see that milk? There we go. I have oh, lots of different food colourings here, but we're only going to use probably two or three uh, for today. Now, I, you can pour the food colouring straight in or you can use these, which are little uh, pipettes. So they're very handy for um, uh, putting little drops of food colouring. So the first thing we're going to do is my bowl. And I'm going to try and probably maybe bring this camera down a little bit. There we are. Oops. So hopefully you can see it. There we go. That's a little bit better, isn't it? So what I'm going to do, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the milk in here. Now, obviously, this is a white bowl <laughs> and we've got white milk. So hope I'm hoping you'll be able to see this. Yeah, you should be able to see that pretty well. OK, and next what we're going to do is get some food colouring. So what colour have I got here? I've got a little bit of blue food colouring. So here we go. This is a very special science experiment here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to drop just a few. I'm going to pop them in over here so you can see them. I'm just going to put a few drops in. There we go. You see that one's gone in there? Just a few little drops. There we are. There we are. A few little drops of food colouring in there. And I think what we'll do is we will choose a different colour as well. So what other colour should we have? How about, how about a little bit of pink, a little bit of red? Here we go. So we're going to take this. There we are. Don't want too much. And then I drop a few more drops of food colouring in here as well. Now then, whoop, here we go. Don't want too much of that. Okay, so what we've got in here now, is we've got our milk and we have our food colouring as well. And what we're going to do is we've got some liquid soap here and I'm going to take some of these Q-tips here and we're just going to soak the Q-tips in some of the liquid soap. Can you see that there? There we go. Okay, now then I'm going to try and do this in such a way that I hope you'll be able to see. Uh, there we go, hopefully you can see that. Now, what happens here is the minute I put this soap on this Q-tip into here, we should see something amazing happen to all the uh, food colouring. So let's see what happens. And the idea is the soap starts chasing around and trying to get all the fat from the milk. And you wouldn't normally see this, but we've put food colouring in for you to be able to see it. So let's have a look, see if I can. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that happen? Really, really, that happened so quickly. My goodness me, let's have a look, see if we can get another one to happen over here. Oh, goodness gracious. Right, let's see if I can get another one going. Here we go. Might have to put a little bit more in. I think that was so quick this today. Goodness me, here we are. There we go. I'm going to put a little bit more food colouring because I think that happens so quickly. <laughs> I don't think I've ever known it to happen that quickly. It just whizzed around, didn't it? My goodness me. So I'm going to put a few more drops of food colouring in. Here we go. There. OK. And we're going to get another one of these. And let's see. It may be there's a little bit too much in there now, but we'll give it a little go. Okay, here we go. Push. 
Yeah, I think we've probably got a little bit too much in there now. Can you see how much it's separated there? Goodness me, look at that. It happens so quickly. So what's happened is it's, it's whizzed around so quickly. There we go. Okay, so it's separated. Actually, you have to be quite quick to do this activity, but it is lots and lots of fun and it makes the milk go like that. It's very, very quick, um, very, very fast. So you have to watch it really quickly. Okay. There we go. Oh, someone's just asked a question, I think. Uh, let me just have a look because it may be something. Um, if you want to, um, yeah, so someone's just raised a hand. If you want to write in the uh, chat side um, of the screen and then um, and post a question, then that's great. And I can answer any questions that you've got um, about that. So um that's just to show you another way that we can make magic with milk but really the magical ingredient is the soap because it's a soap that chases around everything and chases all the germs and the grease and the grime and puts it all the way down the sink so the other thing um i also want to mention to you um which i was going to mention earlier actually um is about role play now i've mentioned about the fact that um, you are a good role person for your child. Um, so it's good for you or if they've got older siblings to actually, um, uh, you know, say to them, speak it out loud, if you like, when you're actually washing your hands, say, it's time for tea, I've got to wash my hands or, you know, um, that sort of thing. So the other thing you could do is whether if you have some dolls around the house. Now, these are a great idea for actually um, helping your child understand and also to help them take a bit of responsibility around hand washing as well. So washing a, a doll's hands can be lots of fun. But also, as I say, it encourages them to take responsibility. So if they were to, say, take the dolly outdoors and then come inside, you could get them talking with Dolly about and ask them to say, what does Dolly need to do now? Now Dolly's been outdoors. What does she need to do now? Now, obviously, what you're hoping your child will say is, oh, yes, they need to go and wash their hands. And that shows you it's a great way of showing that your child is actually learning uh, what to do in terms of when to wash their hands. Um, so the other thing you can do is um, you can also extend this activity so that you could become the voice of Dolly. So what I mean by that is um, you could say, oh, what do we need to do now? We need to wash our hands. And you could be the voice of Dolly and say, I don't want to wash my hands today. They're nice and clean. They're not dirty. I don't need to wash them. And that's a great thing to do because then hopefully again, your child is going to say, no, come on, Dolly. You do need to wash your hands because you can't always see the dirt and the grime on your hands, but you will have germs and you'll get a tummy ache or you might get a bit of a cold if you don't wash your hands. So anything like that where you can role play with toys like this um, is also a great great activity idea as well so you know as I say if you've got the opportunity for that then do try and role play um, where you can so um, we have looked at how and why and when to wash our hands and I'm just going to uh, share my screen again just to go through the handouts I just want to mention the uh, handouts as well that uh, we have got, oh, that was the other thing I wanted to mention as well, sorry. If your child um, is keen on online apps and games, Germ Zapper is a great one to uh, play with them. They can play this on their own. It's a new app, um, it doesn't cost anything, and it's in the app store and uh, called Germ Zapper by Water Aid. And basically it's a great game. Uh, your child has to find the germs, then they have to zap the germs. There's all sorts of germs and all sorts of places where the germs hide um, in, in the home. And then of course, they have to wash their hands as well. So this is a really great uh, online sort of app and it's free and they can play that as a game as well. So 
So if your child prefers to learn in that way, um, I highly recommend Germ Zapper um, as a great game for them to play. So I mentioned about handouts. Um, in terms of the handouts that we've got, I've got hand washing games and activities. So I've got on your handout, you've got some of the games and activities here. You've got the glitter germs, you've got the magic milk as well on the handouts. I've got a list of brilliant hand washing songs as well. So you can pick and choose, you know, every child is different. They like different things as well. So you can pick and choose some of the songs uh, from that sheet, which makes it lots of fun in terms of washing hands. Uh, we also have the sticker reward chart. So there's a template there that you can download as well. And also, of course, the hand washing poster that I showed you um, at the beginning. So there we go. So I think someone has popped a little question. Ah, there we go. So I've got a question that someone's just, just come up now. I haven't quite finished the session, but I will answer this. It's a good time as any to do it. Can we use bar soap for hand washing? So yeah, any kind of soap at all, whatever you tend to use in the house is absolutely fine. Now, a question I do get asked sometimes is, what do I do if my child doesn't like soap? Um, now, the, the thing about that is um, the first thing to do is to remind them about how magical soap is. OK, so if you can do anything like the glitter germs activity that we've done today or you can um, do the magic milk activity, either of those are great to just remind children about how magical soap is. If that doesn't work and they still are really adamant that they don't like soap, there may be something else going on there in terms of what is it about that soap that they don't like. So you might have, we I just tend to have liquid soap here, that's just something that we as a family use, uh, but not everyone has that. Some people prefer bars of soap as well absolutely fine any any soap does the job in terms of obviously washing hands and getting rid of germs um but supposing you do have bar soap and your child is basically saying i just don't want to um you know uh wash my hands with it i don't like the soap it could be they're just a little bit sensitive to um you know sometimes um with bar soaps they could be slippy and slidey um it just it just depends what it is so spend a little bit of time um actually uh trying to find out what is it about that soap that your child doesn't like um it could be something you know children are funny really it could be something as as, as strange they just don't like the color um or they don't like the texture or they don't like the shape um, you'd be amazed uh, what reasons children come up with for reasons that they don't like soap. So try and find out, as I say, if you've, if you've worked with them on the glitter germs and the magicness of soap and that's still not doing it and they still don't like the soap that you've got there, then try and find out what is it about that soap that they, um, they don't like. And then try and experiment a bit. It may be even, you know, get a few different types of soaps, maybe take them out to the shop, get them to have a look at the different soaps and see what catches their eye. If they're involved in choosing the soap, they're more likely to then go on and actually use it. Now, I think you do have these in Abu Dhabi and we certainly have them over here as well, of felt soaps, F-E-L-T, felt soaps. So for children who really don't like that slippy, slidey stickiness of soaps, um, they are basically soaps made through felt and they are felt, so lovely soft um sort of material um the soaps are wrapped in felt soaps and what happens is as the um felt soaps are used over time they just slowly 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 get smaller so it's, it's a fascinating thing to to see but for children who are perhaps a little bit sensitive to um textures and things like that felt soaps could be really useful so your, your question was, can we use bar soap for hand washing? Absolutely, yes. Um, and how I've gone on just to extend that a little bit, just in case you have children who perhaps aren't that keen on um, using soap. So I hope that ask, answers your question. Uh, thank you very much for um, answering it. Now then, 
Um, I would like us to have one last go at practicing washing our hands together with the little song that I've put together because it's a great little song. So um, I'm going to just share my screen again. And here we go. Now, can you remember how it went? I hope you can. Here we go. So remember, it goes to the tune of row, row, row your boat. And what we're going to do, we're going to practice. We're going to pretend that we're washing our hands. Here it goes. And we're going to, after three, we're going to start pretending to wash our hands. And we're going to sing this song. Are you ready? Get your hands ready for hand washing. Here we go. One, two, three. Wash, wash, wash your hands, wash them nice and clean. Scrub them here and scrub them there and scrub them in between. Wash, wash, wash your hands, play our handy game. Rub and scrub and scrub and rub, germs go down the drain. Yeah! Well done. Well done, everyone. That was absolutely fantastic. So that's a great little song as well to actually, um, you know, practice hand washing. It lasts about 20 seconds. So there we go. Right. So um, that really is all I want to cover for today. So I want to say shukran. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, hang on. There we go. So We've got quite a bit of time left now for me to be able to answer any questions at all that you have around sort of hand washing and germs and teaching children all about germs and hand washing um, and things like that. So I'm going to stay on now. Um, if you've got any questions at all, you are welcome to just use your raise your hand um, or just put a, a question in the chat box and I will pick that up and uh, we will go from there and see what questions uh, we have. So I'll give you a minute just to pop any questions up uh, that you might have. Um, so let's see what, uh, let's see what comes up. Okay. So I've answered the question about what to do if my child doesn't like soap. Um, so you've got a few ideas there about working with them to try lots of different soaps and just find out what is it about the soap um, that they don't like. Now, there is a question that I often get asked here as well, which is what to do when my child says they simply won't wash their hands at all. It isn't that they don't like the soap, they just don't want to wash their hands at all and it turns into tantrums and, and so on. And that is also very common as well, uh, particularly with, with children in sort of um, early years when we're starting off. Now what we have to remember is, again, it comes back to the fact that we can't see or hear or smell germs. So if we think about that in a child's mind, we've got to try and help them understand that, you know, um, the importance of, of hand washing. And that's why the glitter germs activity is so effective. And, you know, if you haven't been able to do it here today with me, I strongly, strongly advise you to do that activity with your child at home. Um, it, it just, really makes it work for them and they can suddenly see what we're talking about in terms of germs and how they can spread um, and so on. So the first thing to do is to is to say, uh, uh, agree with them. Say, I know you can't see or hear germs, can you? And you can't smell them. What, what are we going to do? How do we know that, you know, our hands need washing? Um, so try the glitter activity. Um, if that, if that doesn't work and they're still really adamant that they don't want to wash their hands, there may be something else going on here that's bothering them about washing their hands. Now, it could be something as simple as can they reach the sink? Um, so it might be that it's just a little bit of a stretch for them to be able to stand there and actually, you know, wash their hands um, and, and, and they can't quite reach the soap and it's quite sort of difficult for them. So you could look at doing things like putting a step stool in for them. I know I did that with my own son um, and just making soap a little bit closer for them. It might be that they can't remember 
how to wash their hands and they're anxious about that. They might be worried about that. So things like the visual prompts, you know, that little poster that you'll have um, available to download from this session on the handout, that kind of um, step by step poster very very handy very useful as a, a visual prompt um, for your child so spend a little bit of time with them <clears throat> excuse me don't just sort of dismiss it and say don't be silly come on you've got to wash your hands you know if there is something bothering them let's see if we can just get to get to the bottom of what that is and um you know how how we can help them so as I say, that's a question that, you know, I do get asked a lot. So hopefully um, if that happens with you and your child or your children, uh, you've got a bit of a strategy there for helping them. And as I say, highly recommend doing the glitter hands activity too. So you're all quite quiet at the moment. So I'm just going to see if there's any other questions uh, coming in for me. OK, so I do have another question here, which is how much help should I give my child to wash their hands? So another good question. OK, so really, it's a bit like sort of how long is a piece of string? Because it really does depend on your child and what stage they're at in terms of learning to wash their hands. The key with this is to follow your child's lead. If you've got those visual prompts up and those posters reminding them when they need to wash their hands, so you know before tea, when they've been outside and so on, and then you've got the prompts inside the bathroom as well, the one to seven steps of how to wash your hands, that's great so they need they've got what they need to sort of get on with it but you know you do I know as a parent I, I was anxious to begin with to make sure that um, they are washing their hands properly and I know my son would come out and say I've washed my hands and you could clearly see that they still had dirt on their hands and you don't want to sort of put them off. Um, it's really important to encourage your child and encourage that independence. So it's a little bit of a balance there between um, making sure they do it properly, but giving them lots of encouragement as well. So how much support you need to give them does very much depend on your child. But as I said, you know, during the course of this webinar, don't be afraid to actually, um, you know, stand behind your child, give them guidance, you know, hold their arms, lead them to uh, speak with them as you're doing it. Say, we need the soap now, let's reach for the soap um, and, and so on. So don't be afraid to give them uh, lots of guidance. And it is that balance between um, encouraging independence, but actually making sure that, um, you know, we they are actually washing their hands uh, properly. So uh, I hope that helps a little bit um, as well. Great. OK, so um, I'm just wondering whether we could have another little go at looking at the baby shark video. Now, I did this on a previous seminar that I did because all the children absolutely love baby shark and they loved it so much that we ended up playing the video twice. <laughs> so I'm just wondering if we can bring that one back up. Shall we have, and this time you can dance and you can do your hand washing as you're dancing along and you can sing along as well. And I'll try and remember to mute my microphone, otherwise you're gonna hear me singing along to it as well. So I'm just wondering, hopefully my colleagues in the way have um, managed to find the video again, uh, video number two, and shall we have another go? at doing some hand washing with Baby Shark. Ping pong. Hi, I'm Baby Shark Brooklyn. Subscribe, hit the bell, and like. Baby Shark Brooklyn. Mommy shark to do 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 mommy shark to do 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 mommy shark Daddy shark to do 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 daddy shark to do 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 shark to do 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 grandma shark to do 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 grandma shark to do 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 grandma shark It's the end to do 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 
Search for Baby Shark Brooklyn on YouTube. That is such a great video, isn't it? And it's 20 seconds long. So it is exactly what you need for hand washing and just such a fantastic way of um, getting children to wash their hands in a really fun way. And as I said, right at the uh, beginning and at the end as well, being patient, lots of visual prompts, and of course, having lots of fun uh, while they're washing their hands just makes it much more bearable for everyone. So um, really, I'm sort of done now um, in terms of answering some questions and completing the video as well. So um, that's sort of wh where we are, unless there's any more questions that are coming up. I don't think so. I'll just keep checking a minute and make sure that we haven't got any more questions. So this is your chance if you have it to ask me anything you like about uh, hand washing and games, activities for hand washing and so on. So have we got any more questions coming in? And we might finish a little bit earlier today um, if there are no more questions. I think probably we're there, aren't we? So. Um, thank you very, very much for um, coming along today um, and for the questions that you have given in. I hope you find it really helpful. Now, I'm delighted to say that next week on Tuesday, the 20th of October, I am going to be running another webinar and it's all about active words and numbers. So this is all about helping children develop their numeracy, and their literacy through active play at home. And there's gonna be lots of super ideas for you to uh, learn and develop that you can put into practice straight away. So it's very practical. Um, and we're gonna do some together. Um, there's gonna be some videos and things as well. Um, and lots of great play ideas to help your child learn all about words and numbers from a young age. So that's next Tuesday on the 20th of October. And I believe it's at the same time. So that's five o'clock uh, your time. So um, do come and join me with that if you can. And I hope that I can see you again soon. Uh, so shukran, uh, mah salam. And uh, see you soon. Thank you. Awesome. Oh, thank you.